Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another episode in the Assassin's Creed Origins Countdown series. Now, this episode, we are only, what are we? This is crazy. 16 days away from the release of Assassin's Creed Origins, just over two weeks. This is, this is getting a bit crazy for me. I, I don't know what to do with myself. It's, it's this close. Um, but this is an exciting one. We're getting to the top five things now that I'm excited about. Starting now with number five, which is, oh boy, tombs. Yes, I know I talked about side missions already, but tombs, oh god, if you know me at all, you know tombs are my shit. For a long time, they were my favorite part, or one of my favorite parts of the whole franchise in terms of a side activity or main activity back within the Ezio trilogy. And there was, to a certain level those types of missions in Assassin's Creed 3 with the Captain Kidd missions because you kind of had those sort of unique location missions and that was really cool and I really enjoyed those sorts of things. Those are the kinds of side activities that I really love. Something different and separates it from, you know, just being in your normal map. But the thing about tombs, without them, it's just lacked a bit of the, you know, I don't know, mystery to it and always adds an aura of history to the franchise and the lore and things like that. So when you were in those tombs in the Ezio trilogy, you're like, oh wow, this has a deep impact on one in history, but also on the Assassin Order and the lore. And with the tomb specifically in Assassin's Creed 2, you know, there was whole stories behind them and the Assassins that represented each of those tombs. Now to see Egypt as a setting, I've been talking about it for almost two years now since Empire Origins was rumored that tombs are the big thing for me and we've seen plenty of gameplay and clearly there's some interesting things with these tombs maybe with weird hallucinations of monsters i don't know really what's going on there specifically but just the whole idea of tombs and there being just random ones that are just small and unique little locations you can find throughout the map plus bigger ones with treasures inside and, and loot and things like that that's the stuff I love because you're building unique locations, you're building discovery, you're building mystery. That's the best part about like exploring in Assassin's Creed games is history to this, right? History is our playground. But then we also know with the Isu, there's even more history than we're aware of, we're aware of uh, as humans, right? This ancient civilization. And you want that to be impacted throughout the story and at least be teased in some level or at least it'd be suggested. And having just random tombs that pop up, plus actual like side activity tombs that are a lot longer and lengthier as missions and structures. Those are things you want because one, they're just fun missions themselves. They add parkour challenges, they add just chase challenges, they add puzzle challenges and it makes you think, and I like that sort of stuff, it's why I love the Uncharted games as well, because there's that puzzle factor and that parkour factor, and you want to have to think and figure it out, and I'd love to see some of these puzzles at work, and knowing that there are, you know, these tombs that have puzzles and parkour challenges and combat challenges and things like that, that's like so, so exciting to me, as completely standalone unique side activities, they're the ones to me that stand out the most, and I am going to be like just every single time it was like in black flag you know you sail past knowledge you're like oh, i'll check that out this is like that but even more awesome to me because you'll just be running around and like oh this building looks cool and then you're like oh what's this little gap in the wall here oh my god that's a tomb or that's like a secret area and that's the sort of stuff that really excites me and that I'm really looking forward to exploring throughout this game and I just think it's going to add so much to it especially if they make it a strong important side activity with an end reward like a great part about them in the old games was you know you finish all the assassin tombs or the Romulus layers and you get this armor or this weapon or something at the end and I think that's important to have on some level but I think the way it's going to work in Origins would be unique weapons or a unique armor piece per tomb. Like it'll be a, this tomb has this item at the end and there will be like a high level sort of items depending on the level in which the tomb is. I suspect, I don't think it's going to be like a combination thing, you know, similar to the Assassin tombs. It'll be a one and done sort of thing. So it's exciting. This is, we're in the top five for a reason. Like this is stuff I'm very, 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 very excited to see. So guys, that's it. For this episode of the countdown, 
please like, favorite, and subscribe. If you enjoyed it, don't favorite. I don't want to say favorite. That's like my, what I used to say. Don't, I, who favorites? Who fucking cares? No, but like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And remember that all my content is completely ad free. So if you feel like supporting me, just head over to patreon.com slash as always. Just chuck me a dollar, whatever. Whatever you can do. Help support me, the channel, and get bonus exclusive content over there. It's really cool. It's a fun time over at patreon.com slash as always. But if you can't, that's okay too. Just enjoy this ad-free video content. And I'll see you guys for the next episode in the Assassin's Creed Origins Countdown series.